They are our historians. They are our educational doctors, our medicine people, our politicians. Um, they have, uh, we have complex, hundreds of complex societies, tribes and cultures, and we have all of these positions in them, and in our community we have them as well. So we want to acknowledge those people that who have lived a life and a, have accomplished much, and that, of course, there are many, many more which we would like to honor, but we can't do all that today, so they'll, we, that's saved for our future or, or when we, in our writings and things like that. But there were just a few that we wanted to um, acknowledge today, so, um, and for certain areas in which they ha have been outstanding. Our um, first person which we, uh, we wanted to acknowledge was um, Luis Delgado. Did he sit, is, is he still in the area? He might have taken a, oh quick, oh, sorry Luis. Uh, Luis Delgado probably doesn't consider himself an elder as of yet, but in Indian country, Indian men live on average of 55 to be 55 years old. So in terms of Indian country, Luis is old. <laughs> Sorry, Lewis, I'm sorry to say that. <laughs> but we wanted to give you this award for um, your lifetime achievement in Native philanthropy and thank you for all of the hard work that you've done with our community and with the commu uh, Indian communities throughout the United States. Thank you, Lewis. Our next person, which we would like to acknowledge, would be Dr. Lola Hill. <laughs> Dr. Lola Hill was supposed to receive this award last year, <laughs> but she was ill. Um, uh, Dr. Lola Hill has been there, it seems like forever, um, been there working alongside of us with such incredible energy and with a, a fervor of happiness and um, just excitement for anything that's involved in our community. And you know what, her favorite thing is to teach Indian students. She has, she, I believe, is the first American Indian woman to get a PhD in English literature from the University of Illinois, ever. <laughs> and she did that while being a single parent, while raising how many children? Six children. So whenever our students start to complain about they can't do it, their kids are too hard, they have their jobs are too difficult, I always say, do you know Dr. Lola Hill? <laughs> and uh, so um, she has been really a backbone in our community and I know she doesn't consider herself an elder either, but we consider her one of our elders. And so um, Dr. Hill, we wanna give you this, for America, this award for American Indian Teaching and Learning. Our next person I'd like to call up is Susan Power. I know she doesn't really like this. She doesn't want to be the center of attention. But um, I think it's important that uh, we have, um, we acknowledge her for her part in helping us preserve our historic memory, for helping us, teaching us on a daily basis the way uh, Susan teaches us is as elders should teach us one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. She reprimands us when we need to be. She reminds us of what we've forgotten. She helps us to remember what is important. And I think when you have, when you've lived the life that she has lived, that you can see that, what is important, what, what, is, what we're doing, what's important, and what we're, what we're striving for in our community. So for that, Susan, I want to give you this, uh, this award for American Indian history and leadership because you are still today leading us as your mother and your ancestors have for, uh, ever, done forever. <laughs> yes, I am also part Dakota. Um, well, I have actually six other different tribes, but that would take too long to discuss. Uh, the next person I would like to call up is Amelia Ortiz. Amelia Ortiz is, on, is on the board of the American Indian Association of Illinois. Amelia also has been working in American Indian organizations forever, since the 60s and 70s. 
She has been an, adv an advocate of every organization, no matter what it is. She never, um, she has served as the director of American Indian Health Services. Um, she has uh, continues to support the children in the community and is help, not helping raise her grandchildren here in Chicago. Um, she works with her tribe. She's been an advocate for the handicapped and uh, disadvantaged people, the disabled people, uh, especially American Indian people. She spent years caring for her severely disabled brother. She served as an example for all of us and the kind of, of Indian people we should be in terms of those values of caring for our relatives, for our community, and for our, all of our loved ones. And so I wanted to give this award to you, Amelia, a Lifetime Achievement Award in it for American Indian Urban Health and Human Services. And um, last but not least, I want to acknowledge our head singer, our head dancer, um, our elder who offered the prayer today, uh, Carlos Zeke Panetza. He likes to be called Zeke, that's his nickname, it means squirrel. And uh, I didn't realize it until I, I had to write a short bio from, from the Verizon. He was, a, he was um, a nominated for a Verizon Hero Award. But I realized that he's been for years and years been helping teach American Indian music and dance to children and young people and older people in Chicago. And he is now the oldest American Indian powwow singer here and uh, head dancer. And he, has, he founded the Black Hawk Performance Company. Some of you might have seen his Tribune article in 1985 and it's a lot of work and he's been dedicated to his culture his music his dance and also to learning the songs and dance of other cultures um, he sang with the chicago powwow drums in the early years that were predominantly ho-chunk and uh, he learned those songs as well you're going to hear some ho-chunk songs today you're going to hear some lakota songs and so he's not only celebrated his own culture but he's also celebrated the many tribes of the people that he found here and has, has, has been involved with. And he continues today to help us with the Chicago American Indian Museum and then continues to teach arts and crafts and music and dance to the children in our community as well as to the young people. So for that, Zeke, I want to acknowledge you and thank you for the work that you have done in our community and to offer you this Lifetime Achievement Award for American Indian art, music, dance, and culture. that um, ends my presentation and as I said I know there are there are other elders in our in our in, in our presence and please forgive me for not acknowledging everyone but we're limited by time and and perhaps you know I hope, I hope we can do this again in the future and we can talk about you and your achievements and your contributions to our community because they have all been great so thank you very much Uh, I just have one other, Doreen, can I have you come back here? I just wanted to, um, I am new to the Chicago area, moved here with my family from Utah in July. And Doreen um, has been a huge part in introducing me and helping me um, understand the community here in Chicago, the Native American community. And so I actually have an award for her for uh, that I want to acknowledge and recognize her for her commitment and really her passion. She, she exhibits tremendous passion for the Native American community here and I have learned a great deal from her in regards to uh, the passion that is here and the importance of this Native American community, this urban Native American community. So my big thanks to Doreen for her help and her service uh, for me and also for the University of Chicago. Thank you.